Hello there. If you're into Nordic walking, I've got something for you. Well, you might not be into Nordic walking. You might not even know what it is. Um, essentially, it's um, kind of like cross-country skiing uh, without the snow or the skis. Right, well, so what, what about cross-country? Uh, no, uh, Nordic walking. Well, what you need is these poles. And I have said these poles, and they come with these feet on the end of the pole. Which you just push on. Simple mount. Unfortunately, uh, as nature will have it, there'll be something that will grip that. And before you know it, you've lost the foot. And in fact, that's, that's happened. I've lost one of the feet. So I thought I would 3D print a new design. What would be great is if there was a screw on one, but this slightly different design using just PLA and it just pops on. How long would it last? I'll report back. I'll let you know how I got on. But in the meantime, I'll, uh, I'll tell you how I made it. So this is uh, where we started really to make this uh, design. Really simple. Um, why did I say we? There's only me involved. Uh, anyway. Um, so yeah, obviously taking dimensions from the original rubber foot, um, because it's PLA and not rubber, um, you have to think slightly differently, so it's not so flexible. Um, I wanted to be in PLA because I wanted to have a reasonably hard foot. Um, again, decided to make it a bit wider, so this is wider than the original one. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, just, you know, the usual thing, digital caliper, get some dimensions. You know, if, uh, if we look at the, the sketch, you can see the dimensions. You know, I need to make the hole the correct size. And this part is the cutaway from the, the you know, the main piece. So uh, if we come out of the sketch and just go back in time a little bit, uh, hide the sketch and show the body. The first thing is the result, revolve, resolve, revolve. <laughs> So that just, it's like, um, it's like a potter at his wheel. So it took that first bit of the sketch and uh, revolved it. So you can see if I show, so this part of the sketch revolved around. And then the next thing is to make an extrusion to make a hole from the second part of that sketch, this part here, extruded out here, cutting a hole and then just repeating that as a, circular pattern around the object that's it um the only thought is about which way to print it um because the angles are nice and steep here you can print it that way up there's not that much contact but uh, once i dialed in my printer nicely um it, it just printed fine you know straight out and it seems to be okay we shall see um in the fullness of time whether it works out but yeah i think it should be okay <laughs> 